In this video, we unbox and add the third generation Echo Dot into our IoT arsenal, coming up. What is going on everybody and welcome to another Tech Unbox video. Before we get started, we've had an increase over the holiday of traffic to the channel. So allow me to introduce myself if you are new here. I'm Aaron, I'm from Help Cloud, and we are your go-to tech resolution hub. We focus primarily on all things tech when it comes to news, how-tos, tutorials, unboxings, etc. So welcome to the channel and I do hope you enjoy. Jumping into today's video, a while back we released a video on how to set up your Amazon Alexa device. Now that video featured a first generation Echo Dot and today we're going to be featuring a third generation Echo Dot. They function identically, there's just some cosmetic changes, and so we're gonna be setting that up, but the steps should be very similar. Overall, the biggest thing is we wanna add this to our array of smart devices. We have a bunch of smart power strips, smart Wi-Fi plugs, a couple smart Wi-Fi bulbs, which is what you see behind me here. The problem is, is our first generation Alexa, or our uh, first generation Dot is downstairs where we can't actually use it upstairs. It doesn't hear us very well, and so adding a second one is gonna allow us to do that without yelling across the house. Just a couple things that we need to take note of before we get started is I am going to be setting this up in a current configuration. So if you are setting this up for the very first time, you will want to of course go to the App Store or the Google Play Store and download the Alexa app and sign into the app with the account that you wanna set up everything under. So again, this is gonna be set up under an existing network where I already have all of my smart devices set up and we're just adding an additional Alexa dot to make this configuration a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and jump right into the unboxing. As you can see, it's a very simple box, not much to it. This is the Echo Dot, it is the third generation, and it does have the Alexa, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and it does have the audio line out in case you did want to hook up external speakers. The first and second gen also had that feature as well. So there's really not much change as far as features or abilities that the third generation can do. It is just primarily a cosmetic look to where they went away from like a plastic look and you'll see that when we get inside the box here. They went from like a plastic look to a more modern look. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the box and as you can see the Alexa device is or the dot is right there on the top and this is what I was saying about the plastic look. If you look at the first and second gen, they have, their, there's nearly no like the style to them, there's no design to them and that was one of the biggest things that people didn't like is it was kind of ugly when you would put it like on a shelf or anything like that. So. They went with this material look. It looks like it's some type of fabric or some type of like denim look. You can get it in a light gray or a black color. So it can go with any, really any type of decor that you want and set it up on the shelf. So it's really nice. Um, aside from cosmetics, they did move away from a seven microphone array that they had on the first and second generations. And they went to a four microphone array, but they do have far field abilities to where they can hear you further from the room or further from the device. So now they can actually spy on you from six states away instead of the normal three states away. So that's kind of cool. And if we open this up here, it's just got some plastic wrapping on there. Just a couple manuals, some examples of some of the commands that you can use right here. And then of course it does have a quick guide on how to set up like your Alexa app, how to connect it to a speaker, etc. We'll go over some of that in today's video, of course. And then if we open it up, you've got a, just a simple power adapter. And that's basically it from everything inside the box. So you've got the Alexa device, some manuals, you've got the power adapter, and that's basically it. So let's go ahead and jump right into the setup. Perfect, so once you've got Alexa or the Echo Dot in setup mode, which is indicated again by that orange circling light, and you've got the app downloaded, go ahead and open up the app and it's gonna take you to this good morning or good afternoon. It's gonna take you to the home page. There's two methods that you can do here. You can come on down and click on devices and then click on the plus sign up here. Or if you go back to home, you can just tap on the three bars up here in the top left hand corner, tap on those. And then you're gonna go in, go on down and search for this where it says add device and tap on add device. From here, it's gonna list a bunch of different devices that you can use as well as brands. We're gonna tap on the top option where it says Amazon Echo. Once we tap on that, we're then gonna have a different types of devices that we can choose. And in this case, we are going to be choosing the Echo Dot, but yours might be different if you're using just a normal Echo or if you have an Echo Dot Kids Edition, you're gonna want to select the one that you're going to be setting up. So we're gonna go ahead and choose on Echo Dot. Now you'll notice that you have first, second, and then third generation. Again, the video that we posted before was the first or second gen, which was this guy right here, but we are going to be setting up the 
the third generation. So we're gonna tap on the top option here. As you can see right here, it says, is your Echo Dot plugged in and displaying an orange light? You can see that in the background there, it is plugged in and it is displaying the orange light. So we are going to click on yes. But if yours is not, you're gonna want to either unplug it or now is a good time to plug it in and wait for that orange light to turn on. So we're gonna go ahead and click on yes. And it's gonna say, select your Amazon Echo and it should go through and find the Amazon Echo if it is in fact in the setup mode. If it is not, you may have to connect manually, but you can try clicking on the device not listed and it's gonna run you through some steps to check there. So for now, since we do see the available device, we are gonna go ahead and click on echo.bub and then it's gonna ask us to select the Wi-Fi network that we're gonna to want to send over to the Alexa dot. In this case, I do want it connected to the Mission Control 2.4 since that is the one that is displayed right underneath my desk here. I'm gonna tap on that. And then you're gonna go through and punch in your password for that network. Once you've typed in the password, it's gonna say connecting your Echo Dot to Wi-Fi. Make sure your device is nearby, plugged in, and in pairing mode. So again, it is best to do this stuff if you have the phone, the Alexa device, and also your Wi-Fi router as close as possible. That way it can send the information back and forth without any kind of disruption. So the device is ready. as you can see, she says the device is ready. Everything paired really well. Your Echo Dot is now connected. Go ahead and hit continue. And then you can go ahead and choose a room that you would like to add this device in. So I'm gonna scroll down, down to where I see office and I'm gonna select office and click on continue. You can click on skip, or if you scroll all the way down, you can set up a custom name as well. So those are all options that you can do. Since mine's already listed, I'm just gonna hit on continue. And then it should take me back to the homepage of the Alexa app, where I can then go in and see the different devices in here. So if we go into devices by clicking on devices down on the bottom right, and if we tap on the Echo and Alexa up here in the top left, you can see that we've got Aaron's Echo Dot and Aaron's second Echo Dot both listed on there. And then of course we do have Alexa on this phone. So you can see that both of those are set up and are ready to go. And now you can use your Echo Dot to go in and control your smart devices. Now, if for any reason you weren't able to find the device or the app was not able to find the device, it's going to kick up a message saying that it couldn't find the device. What you're gonna have to do is go in to the Wi-Fi settings of your phone and you're gonna to have to find the Alexa or the Echo, whatever Wi-Fi is broadcasting, you're gonna to want to connect to it and then go back into the Alexa app and follow the on-screen prompts to get it connected. That's it, that's all it takes to go in and set up your Echo Dot and you can now use your new Echo Dot to control all of your smart devices. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope someone somewhere out there got something out of this. Even if it was just one of you, I certainly did my job. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to enable the bell notification if you want to be notified when I upload any type of future content. And we will see you all on the next one.